Hello my dear friends, a very pleasant welcome to everyone into the video. Uh, my name is Anil Kumar and I am here with you in this video to teach engineering mechanics. And the classes for engineering mechanics will be continued according to the syllabus by JNTU Kakinada. Which, uh, and they have released recently, uh, our regulation has been changed, it is R19 which was so recent. So let us go through the syllabus part first, let us understand, let us know what is there in the syllabus part and what topics we are going to focus on, what, which unit discussing, which part of engineering mechanics and everything. Let us go to the syllabus part and let us be clear with everything. So here we are having the syllabus paper provided by Jaholan Nehru Technological University Kakinada and it is with R19 regulation which was so recent so let us go through the objectives first here objectives uh, is mentioned here so let us go through it and read it out the students completing this course are expected to understand the concept of force and its resolution in different planes resultant of force system forces acting on a body their free body diagrams using graphical methods they are required to understand the concept of center of gravity and moment of inertia and their application, analysis of frames and trusses, different types of motion, friction and application of work, energy method. So here is the objectives that was given below uh, before getting into the units. So for each and every unit we will be having a different objectives. For each and every unit we will be learning something. There will be a definite outcome which is a giveaway for that particular unit so after completing the unit you will be able to understand the objectives for that particular unit so here itself we can go through the first unit's objective here we are having the objective for the first unit the students are exposed to learn the concepts of the force and friction and direction and its application so here in the first unit we are going to learn what is force and what are the applications of force what is the direction given to the force, how the direction of the force is given to particular quantity and what is friction and what are the applications of friction. These things we are going to learn in our first unit. So coming to the second unit we are having another object too that is the students are to be exposed to the application of free body diagrams, solution to the problems using graphical method and law of triangle of forces. So this is the objective given for our second unit and here in the second unit we are going to focus more on equilibrium of system of forces. So here in equilibrium system of forces it is nothing but it is the main heading of the second unit. So uh, in second unit we are having so many different different topics. So after being done with each and every topic in second unit we will be able to understand uh, clearly about what is the application of free body diagrams, what are free body diagrams and how to solve the problems using graphical methods and triangle law forces. So in our third unit we are having a different objective again and the objective for the third unit it is nothing but the students are exposed to be uh, to concepts of the center of gravity, the students are to be exposed to the concept of moment of inertia and polar moment of inertia including the transfer methods and the replication here in the third unit we are going to focus or we are going to learn the topics on center of gravity what is center of gravity how to find center of gravity for different different bodies and uh, how to find moment of inertia and let uh, we will understand what is moment of inertia and we will understand the concepts more first of all we will be understanding the concepts thereafter we will be getting into the real battle so there we will be able to find what is moment of inertia, how it can be found and what is center of gravity, how the center of gravity for a particular body can be found and different different topics. So here in the third unit we will be focusing on center of gravity, centroid and the differences between centroid and center of gravity and area moment of inertia, moment of inertia. These are the topics on which we are going to focus in our third unit. So fourth unit, coming to the fourth unit, we are having an objective. The students are exposed to the motion in a straight line and in curvilinear paths. So we will be able to understand what is motion in a straight line, what is motion in a curvilinear path. And the velocity acceleration and computation methods representing uh, of the representing plane motion. So we will be able to understand what is velocity, what is acceleration, what are the properties that are gained by the bodies which are uh, set into motion what kind of motions are there so we'll be able to focusing on each each this kind of uh, things 
so rectilinear and curvilinear motions of a particle is the topic for the fourth unit so here in the fourth unit we will be able to understand these things so coming to the fifth unit here we have another object too students are to be exposed to a rigid motion kinematics and kinetics here we must be able to understand what is rigid motion so what is the word rigid directly means so these are uh, these are the things we are going to focus on so this is a uh, whole this is all about uh, uh, the syllabus part of engineering mechanics by jawaharlal nehru technological university so let us go to our first unit and discuss introduction to the engineering mechanics thereafter we can go through the rest of the topics so let us go through the introduction so we are having engineering mechanics so let us understand what is engineering mechanics engineering mechanics is uh, it is a science which contains set of principles which are used to solve the real life problems which are taken out from the real world so here in engineering mechanics we are having uh, two different classifications that is engineering mechanics is broadly classified into two that is one is statics one is statics another one is dynamics one is statics another one is dynamics don't feel bad if the writing is not good uh, okay let us go to the topic uh, one is statics and another one is dynamics statics it is nothing but it is the it is a branch of engineering mechanics which studies on the bodies which are in rest and coming to the dynamics here in the dynamics we will be able to focus on the bodies which are moving so coming to the statics statics it is nothing but it is a branch of engineering mechanics which deals with uh, which is the study of the bodies which are at rest so it studies the bodies which are at body set rest and coming to the dynamics coming to the dynamics dynamics deals with the bodies which are in motion so bodies which are in motion which are at motion so here we have understood what statics deals with and what dynamics deals with in dynamics we are having two different classification so let us understand those two two so in dynamics in dynamics we have two classifications those classifications sir one is kinetics and the another one is kinematics so here in kinematics here in kinematics we will be focusing on here in kinematics we will be focusing on the body's uh, properties which can be exhibited after getting into the motion for suppose if the body is moving uh irrespective of the forces which has caused the body to move so let us take an example and understand it in more better way so here we have one ball here which is put on a surface so if i exert some force on the ball so the body starts moving from the place to here so for the body which has uh, a force acted on the body so till here till here the force is acted on the body and after the forces being acted on the body the body itself attains some properties like velocity acceleration and another property it is not a property it is a term which is nothing but displacement if you are focusing on this kind of terms uh, like the properties which are possessed by the body after getting uh, after getting into the motion so if we focus more on those properties then that kind of study it is nothing but kinematics and if we also include the force which has caused the body to move here in kinematics we we are not considering the forces which are causing the body to move but we are focusing on the properties which are attained by the body after getting into motion so we are focusing on the motion of the object but not considering the forces which has caused the body to move but in kin kinetics we will be focusing on the motion of the object as well as the forces which has caused the body to move so that is the only difference which we are having in between uh, kinetics and kinematics in kinematics let us recall it uh, let us repeat it again in kinematics we will be 
uh, only focusing on the motion of the object neglecting the forces which has caused the body to move in kinematics we will be focusing on motion of the body as well as we will be focusing on uh, the forces which has caused the body to move so uh, here itself we are concluding we are uh, concluding this video and hope this video has helped you in understanding the classification and in understanding what is uh, syllabus there in Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University Kakinada and with our 19th regulation which was so recent so we will be starting our video lectures uh, soon so you will be able to catch my videos soon so i will prepare videos on each and every topic separately so that you will be uh, able to understand topics in a more better way hope that all my dear students will stay home and make sure that all your family members are so healthy thank you so much bye